Oh, hello there, yes. Well, we didn't get the thunder yesterday, did we? No, maybe today, we'll see. Probably when I'm out on my bike, no doubt. Anyway, um, just today, yes. What exactly is the job of the fourth estate and what should it be in a healthy democracy? Because um, even as we speak, possibly even as we speak, um, High Court papers will be being shuffled in London in and around uh, Harry and his court case against the papers. And um, you would have thought that in um, most of the papers would argue that in a functioning democracy they need to be able to print the right thing to protect us all. So I thought we'd just look at that concept through the microcosm of the Daily Mail today. The Daily Mail today. Um, um, that brings us Nadine Doris, who um, is a woman who's been slighted, apparently, because she's not going to the House of Lords of Boo Hiss, uh, by sinister forces, who, uh, if you read the piece, please don't, but if you read the piece, it turns out it's um, advisors to the PM. That's it, basically. They're not sinister, because she actually names the bloke what she blames. But, you know, in a functioning democracy... Um, should papers side with one particular tiny fraction of the elite? Because that's what the Daily Mail are doing. And should they give the platform to, let's face it, somebody who's somewhat discredited? And, you know, rather than just giving her a platform, shouldn't they sit down and have a doing an interview with her and ask her some pertinent questions about what the truffling hell is going on in and around the Boris faction at the court of Westminster? Hmm? And then we have, and then we have the next bit, which is in a free and functioning democracy, the press must be there to hold the government to account. And we've got a vision of Keir's Britain, whereby the Daily Mail is holding the opposition to account for, um, well, being against bad bills. You know, Suella Braverman. If it's Suella Braverman, it must be a bad bill, because apparently, even though walking slowly is illegal, it should be more illegal to protect us all. And there's nothing in this piece which, other than um, the opposition doing its job, I mean, I'm no fan of the Labour Party, trust me muchly on that, but simply doing their job and opposing incredibly bad legislation, which will have a really, really negative effect on all of us, basically outlawing the right to protest. But nothing from that bastion of liberty, that bastion of free speech, protest is a form of free speech, the Daily Mail. So the Daily Mail, by its own metric, has failed. But of course... No one will hold the Daily Mail to account because of those sinister forces. Anyway, have a lovely day.